Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Todd's Culinary Corner, where I'm cooking food and you're watching me. That was a very original thing to say. Today we are cooking stovetop mac and cheese. It's a really interesting recipe and I'm going to delve into why it's interesting in a second. But first, let's talk about mac and cheese. Maybe the ultimate comfort food, right? I mean, it doesn't matter how sophisticated you think you are. If somebody ma mentions mac and cheese, if somebody matches it, you did. If somebody mentions mac and cheese, you're in your happy place. Uh, we found this recipe on America's Test Kitchen, which is an awesome show on PBS, and they publish tons of content on YouTube. And um, we thought this recipe was really interesting for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's made in one pot. The macaroni is cooked in a relatively small amount of water and milk, a mixture, and then just the ingredients just keep getting added to it. So you don't have to strain the mac and cheese and then make the sauce separately. It all just comes together in one pot. So it's very easy. The other reason is that it's not made with a traditional thickener, like a roux or a bechamel or something like that. This is made um, by our friend White American Cheese, which apparently has some sort of ingredient in it. I think it's called sodium citrate or something like that. I can't pronounce it. I don't know what it is, but all I know is that it has special properties that allow you to thicken things. So, and what a delicious flavor, right? I love White American Cheese. So this is our primary ingredient. This is the, the MVP of the recipe, as it were. Eight ounces of American cheese. You want to get it from the deli and you want to uh, shred it yourself. Then you have eight ounces of very sharp cheddar cheese and that's going to bring in some extra flavor, some sharpness. And Use about three cups of water, two cups of milk. That is currently, hopefully, about to boil. It's getting close guys. You know what they say, a watch pot never boils. I have not been watching it. So far so good. And then we have, um, instead of mac and cheese, I'm making technically gemelli and cheese, but I like this pasta, I needed to use it, so here we go. Then we add some dry mustard, about half a teaspoon of this stuff. I added about a quarter teaspoon of just ground up black pepper, the, the black dust variety. No sense in getting fancy, right, with mac and cheese. And then just a little pinch of cayenne pepper. So I've already mixed my spices together in a little shot glass just so I can add everything in all at once. Oh, you guys, it's starting to boil. Time intensive recipe, only one take. I'm putting a lot of pressure on this liquid substance. Anyway, hopefully you could see it's a relatively small amount of cooking liquid. And basically when you cook the pasta, you need to keep stirring it and stirring it because, you know, it's not in like a huge big vat of water. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook this pasta until it's just about al dente. Um, maybe just a teeny bit shy of it because I want to make sure that the pasta doesn't get overcooked. And then shortly thereafter, we're going to add our American cheese and our spice mixture. And we're going to wait until that melts. We're going to stir it around constantly and get it to where it's really super melty. Then we're going to take the whole thing off the stove and we're going to add our cheddar. And it's said to distribute it evenly. but but don't wait for it to melt. All you have to do is just cover it with a pot lid and just give it about five minutes and hopefully it should start really coming together. A couple of the reviews of this recipe mentioned that they thought the sauce was too thin, but I think they might not have waited long enough because apparently as the sauce continues to cool, that sodium citrate, whatever the heck it's called, um, starts to really do that job and it starts to get really, really nice and thick and creamy and luscious and that's what we're hoping for. And the idea is that this is for texture, and this, flavor. Love cheddar cheese. How are we doing? You guys, it's happening. All right, here we go. I'm about to stop. All right, let me get this open. All right, guys, here we are, adding the pasta. All right. What I usually wait is um, I wait for it to come to a boil again before I start the cooking time. All right, I'm going to put the pot on. Putting the lid on here for a second. Hopefully that will help measures along. In the meantime, I'm going to get my phone ready to start time. Seven minutes on the clock. Do it, baby. Photobomb.
Please. I am ready for some America's Test Kitchen mm -hmm. mac and cheese. We are so ready. We've been basically, the second we saw this episode, we're like, when can we make this? When can we make this? <laughs> mac and cheese. <laughs> Mac and cheese, mac, mac and cheese, mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. This is the best of top mac and cheese. It better be. Peace out, guys. All right. I got to stir this pretty con continuously. So I'm just going to be sort of turning my back to you guys. I'm going to try not to, but I, I do have to be obsessed with the cooking right now. I hope it's as easy and as effective as they say it is on the show. If not, American's Test Kitchen, I'm going to call you out. One of the reasons, too, why we love the show, I don't know if I said it earlier because I was just thinking about, well, cheese. Um, we love the show because not only does it provide you with really interesting recipes that are tasty and flavorful and also relatively easy to make, but they use a lot of science. So <laughs> it's really cool because it's extra nerdy for food nerds. All right, a little bit over two minutes left. It's definitely starting to puff up nicely. It's starting to expand, absorb, taking a lot of this liquid, which is still very much producing. I got a good feeling about this mac and cheese, y'all. I think it's gonna be a winner. All right, guys, it's time. We're gonna add our spices. We're gonna add our cheese, our American cheese eggs. Here we go. And it's said to stir constantly until all this stuff is melted. And there it goes, Whee, cheese, yes please cheese. Keep on melting cheese. Oh yeah, this is definitely starting to come together already. This is gonna be tasty. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add the cheddar in here now. Just dumping it in there. And it says to distribute the cheese evenly, but don't worry about letting it melt. Because I guess covering it with the pot lid is gonna do that for us. So I am distributing this as evenly as I can throughout the pasta mixture. All right, we're completely off the heat. I'm setting the timer for five minutes. And we're gonna check on this after that timer goes off. Hey, I just feel like I came back from one of those cooking show commercial breaks. And now you see it all fancy and finished. Um, earlier when I said that you needed to distribute the cheese evenly, I could see why because it uh, definitely did clump up a little bit, so I had to work a little bit of elbow grease to get this stirred up. But check this out, guys. That looks like some pretty dang good mac and cheese to me. I don't know if you guys agree, but I cannot wait to eat this. I'm gonna take a little taste right now. That's good. That's really good. Okay, leaves a little bit of salt. Not too much, but we'll, we'll sprinkle. Stir this up, a little bit more salt, but it is thick and, I mean, it is gooey. I mean, there is cheese just whew, <laughs> exploding off of this delicious Jamelli pasta. This is a very tasty mac. I would recommend you try making it. Let me know how your results are. Jason's going to join me, and we're going to have a tasty, cheesy, comforting, wonderful dinner. So thank you, America's Test Kitchen. Thanks to all you wonderful glampers out there. As always, hit the like button, make comments, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. We've got plenty of great content on here. And as always, have a glamptastic day, and stay tuned. Leave a comment to say hi. If you like us, please subscribe. And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you. Arr!